All right, we're going to spend uh, the next few minutes talking about how to do charts in Excel. Charts in Excel are really simple when you use Office 2007 because just a few clicks of a button and you can create a chart. So what we're going to start with first to make it even simpler is to start by selecting our data before we even start creating the chart. Not only do we want to select our numerical data, we also want to select the headers or labels for that numerica da numerical data so they pull right into the chart. So I have my data selected. Now I'm going to go up here in the ribbon and I'm going to click on the Insert tab. From the Insert tab, you have an entire charts group where you can pick any type of chart you want. In this case, we'll start by choosing a pie chart. And then from that drop down, you can choose which one you want. I'm going to choose this first 3D pie chart. Whew, that was hard. We did a chart. We're all done. Now, once you have your chart created, you can actually do anything you want to modify it and format it. For example, maybe I want my chart located over here. I'm just going to click on the border and drag it to a different location. And now I've moved my chart. Maybe, however, I want my chart to be on a completely different spreadsheet. Maybe I want it to live in its own area. So when you have a chart, when my chart is selected, you'll notice I have three special tabs on the ribbon. They're called Chart Tools Contextual Tabs. So they're tabs that relate just to formatting your chart. For example, if I click outside of my chart, those special tabs go away. When I click on my chart again, it reappears those three tabs. So make sure your chart is selected, that's how you'll have your tabs appear. On this first tab, the design tab, the very end of that ribbon I have a button that says move chart. Or, so I can move the actual location of my chart by clicking on that. So I'll click on that. And now I can choose to have my chart, rather than being an object in this sheet, be in its own sheet. So I'm going to click up here on the new sheet button. I could actually even name that sheet tab, but we'll keep it as chart one for now. And I'll click on OK. And now my chart has moved into its own sheet.